Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Uh, welcome everyone and thank you for joining EduCall e-training series. This is the third series for the semester. Um, today we are going to, I'm going to share with you on how to mark PDF. Ah, Ah, dah dah, saya dah record dah kat Mal. Okay, syukran. So before we start, let's uh, in abdak, let's start the session with the recitation of Al-Fatihah first. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Everyone see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay, Alhamdulillah. So let's start our, our trading. This is a just a sharing session, a short training. I just want to share with you what I know, uh, a few application that we can use to mark PDF digitally. So if you, by the end of the session, if you want to share another application, then Please, I would also like to know your experience in using uh, any other application other than what I shared with you. Okay, so today I'm going to show uh, three, three applications that we can use to mark or to annotate our student PDF file submission. I <laughs> Sorry, I need to mute somebody this way. Can I ask everyone to mute first? If you have any question, then you can unmute. Alright. Okay, let me start again. So today I'm going to share with you three applications uh, that usually I use to mark my student PDF files. Um, PDF files, uh, either assignment or maybe you can also use for exam papers because sometimes you student, they will send us the PDF file or sometimes the JPEG, the, the image file other than the, the word. So I think everybody all, already knew that PDF file is a file that we cannot really edit except if we have certain application then maybe we can annotate on that file. Okay, let's begin with the first slide. This is our previous ways of uh, marking our student paper using our red pen and I really miss this way actually but uh, what to do? Uh, the same as our student need to adapt with the RTL, we also as a lecturer need to adapt with these new ways of marking our student submission. So basically nowadays this is what we need to do. We need to mark their paper digitally on the screen. Okay? But uh, I knew that some of our teachers, they just uh, print that paper, the submission, and then they use the traditional way to mark the paper. So this is also an uh, accepted way, but for me, it is not really practical, especially those who have many students and many groups. Those with five students with a total number of 100, 100 students, I don't think it is really practical to do this, except if you can print in our Tumus office. Okay. So let's just assume that we need to mark our student submission digitally without the printing. So uh, we want to use the digital pen and then uh, put whatever we want to put, the annotation, the maybe the right or wrong. Or, sorry. Or any comment and so on. Okay. So today I'm going to share with you three 
three ways that usually I do. I use to mark student submission. The first one, Microsoft Edge. I'm using Microsoft Edge to open the, the PDF file. The second one, we can also use Adobe Acrobat Reader. But this uh, Adobe, you need to download, you need to install. The third one, you can also use Kami Chrome extension. Kami, they, from what I read, the word Kami is come from Japanese word. The meaning is the paper. It's not Kami in Malay language actually. Okay, so Kami is a Chrome extension. So since it is, it is mentioned here the word Chrome, then you can guess that the extension can only be used using the Google Chrome. So this is the three application that you can use. Other than that, I knew that some of us like to use our smartphone and also tablet to, to mark their student submission also can. And I think this uh, smartphone and tablet, actually the easiest way lah. Okay, you can just receive your student submission you just, and then you annotate, you mark, give a mark and then return back to them using smartphone and tablet. But uh, there is some cons by using a smartphone and tablet. Uh, for me, I don't really like to use smartphone to mark my student submission because of the screen, it is too small. Okay, but if you prefer it that way, then it's up to you. Those with the tablet, then maybe it is good because tablet, the screen is much bigger, right? So, but today I just will focus on this three. Assuming that all of us are using laptop, okay? So you will use this three. Okay, uh, let's begin with the first one, the Microsoft Edge, the easiest one first. If you want to ask anything, you can interrupt me. Anytime, I will answer question, inshallah. Okay, let me open. Okay, so this is konon-kononnya my student submission, right? So I have here the PDF file, PDF document. And I also have here the JPEG file in case uh, JPEG apa ni? But it is the, 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 what, the image lah, the image file, okay. In case your student snap a photo and then submit to you. We can also do the, the marking, the annotation on that uh, image, don't worry. Right, let me show you uh, the PDF file first. So this is your student submission, as you may, okay, and then you already put in the folder. Usually we just double click on that file and then it will open by any default application that you already set up for the uh, adopt. Mine, I set up my uh, PDF file to open using Microsoft Edge. Okay, but we also have another choices. You can right click on the file. Okay, open with and then you will get a few choices. Yeah, you can see here we have Adopt Acrobat Reader if you already have in your laptop. If not, you need to download it. You need to install. Just search the word Adopt Acrobat Reader and then download. Other than Adopt Acrobat Reader, you can also open the PDF file using Google Chrome. Okay, but I don't really like using the Google Chrome because you cannot annotate anything on that uh, open file except if you uh, install the Kami Chrome extension. The third way is the Microsoft Edge. Uh, this is my default for opening the PDF file. Okay, so let's just double click on this file. Okay, you can see here it is open using Microsoft Edge because this is my default setting. For you, maybe when you double click, it will open using the Adobe Acrobat Reader. I'm not sure what is your default setting. Okay, so the first way. Let me close this. Okay, so this is the first way. Uh, consider this as a submission from your student, my student actually. Okay, you can see here on the top. 
there are few buttons that, that you can use. The first one is zoom out, zoom in to make it bigger. You can also rotate if you want. Uh, this read allowed, I'm not sure the function, I never use it. But the most important is one. Sorry, somebody is coming. Tafadol said as for end. All right. The most important function that I want to use is this one, the draw pen. Okay, we want to uh, we want to to mark our student submission. So we will use this draw pen. Click this uh, little triangle, little arrow, and then you can choose what colors that you want. So of course uh, we will use the red color lah, the red. And so you will use, you will choose the red color and then you can choose how thick you want the, the pen, the, the pen ink. So maybe you can make it thicker okay, like this or like this. It's up to you. Yeah, I think this one is enough. Okay, so click again. Now you have the, the, the pen, the, the small pen to mark your student submission. Right. So as usual, like we use our 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 traditional pen for number one, maybe the answer is correct. The answer is also correct, also correct. But this one is wrong, so I will just pangkah. And this one is also correct. For example, okay. Number two, correct, correct. And this one is wrong. So for the wrong answer, maybe you want to tell your student, you want to write down to your student uh, the, 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 the correct answers. So you can write down using that pen. This way, I forgot to attach my drawing tab. But you can also use the your mouse or your keypad mouse on your laptop. But your... What? To listen to lah. Your handwriting will be messy a little bit if you use the mouse. It's better if you have the, the drawing tab. Sorry, please wait. I forgot. Muni? Ma? Uh, here, can we just type uh, the answer? Okay. Oh. I uh, cannot. For the Microsoft Edge, we cannot do the typing. We can only... Uh, oh. okay, so this is the... The what? Uh, kekurangan Microsoft Edge. We can only do this. Okay, so, so here, I will just write down for my student the correct answer, which is the Ama, Ama Luna. Okay, I'm using the... Uh, the drawing tab. If you want to use your mouse, also can, but... It's little, it's more difficult lah. Also can, okay, you can see here, I'm using the, the mouse pad. Also can. Right, so this is the first way of how you can mark your student submission. And then we put the mark, it's out of 10. After that, we can save. Either you, you just save this file or you can also save as. Okay. So this is Microsoft Edge. For me, I prefer Microsoft Edge even though I cannot do the typing. Right? You can also use the highlighter. It's up to you but uh, I never use the highlighter, but you can use it and choose the color. And you can also erase if you accidentally uh, put something which is not correct, then you can erase. Okay, so this is Microsoft Edge. Very easy for me. I prefer to use Microsoft Edge actually. You will know why after this, after I show you the other application. Do you have any questions so far?
uh, Muni from Microsoft Edge ni Lepas tu, lepas tu nak kena save dia And uh, macam mana nak return balik kat student Dia punya ni um, kal, uh, Kak Mal dapat daripada student macam mana? Uh, okay, sama ada Google Classroom Atau WhatsApp atau email kan? Okay, so it depends on how we receive the submission. If we receive it through the WhatsApp, we can return back through the WhatsApp. Just attach the file as usual. Just open the, uh, saya dah tutup the WhatsApp saya. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Just upload the PDF file as usual, like we share to the student. Okay, semua kan? Okay, okay. Uh, allow the, if they submit through email, we can also return back uh, through email. Just attach the, the file. If you are using the Google Classroom, uh, I will show you the third one, the Kami Chrome extension. Okay. The Chrome extension is better way lah if you use Google Classroom. Syukran. Okay. Any other question? No. Alright. So let's go to the second way of marking our student submission. Uh, I will close this one. Okay, I will open again the same file but this time I will use I'm still here right? You can still hear me right? Yes. Yes Munira. Alright. Uh, okay the, the second way let me open again. I cannot double click because the my default is Microsoft Edge but now I want to use the Adobe acrobat so i need to right click and then open with and then i will choose the second one adopt acrobat reader okay so you can see here the features of adopt is a little bit different from the uh from the microsoft edge what is this Okay, and this is a free version actually. So there are some features that we cannot use in this free in this free version. If you want to use all the features, you need to upgrade. You need you need to pay. Okay, the adop asked me whether I, I I want to make it as my default. No, I don't want. So I just click no. Okay, so here the main difference between adop. And Microsoft Edge is here you can do the typing. Okay. We can type but we cannot use the pen. We can only type. That's the main difference between the two. Okay so if you prefer to do the typing then this is your choice. If you prefer to use the pen then you better use Microsoft Edge. Yeah, so that's how you choose between the two, the two applications. Right, so what we can do by using the Adobe Acrobat Reader. Uh, okay, I will click this one. Okay, when you click that, that, uh, that icon, you will have the cho these choices. There is uh, typing here. ABD, this is a typing. So if you want to type anything, you just click on it. Okay, maybe you want to type here. Okay. Very good, for example. So since your student got 8 out of 10, so maybe you want to say very good. Okay. And, but unfortunately, okay. Unfortunately, using these features for Arabic, it is not really suitable. Let me show you why. Uh, for example, I want to correct my student, my student's answer. This one, Amalukum. So the correct answer is Amalu. Now you can see here, the phone is not connected. Ain mim lam nun. Alif, it is not connected. So for us Arabic teachers, this uh, this function is not 
that we cannot use. Okay, for English or Malay, that is okay. You can do the typing. Other than typing, you can also use this button. If the answer is so high, so correct. So you just put the, the icon. If it is wrong, just put it wrong. Okay. And you can also, uh, as usual, if you make a mistake, then you can delete. Is the dustbin icon. Other than this one, I think most of the features here is for the pro license you need to buy. But you can try, you can uh, try one by one. Okay. So other than this, Close this one. We can also put a comment. Okay, this button. Before this, I click this one. The to get the symbol for the right or wrong. Here. Other than that, you can also put a, a comment box. So just click on it. Okay, for example, here I want to write down a comment here. Amalukum, this is a wrong answer. So I will just put here. Okay, you can see here we can put some comment. For example, we want to say uh, Al-Ijabah. Here, Alhamdulillah, you can do the typing in Arabic. Alhamdulillah, by using this comment box. So Al-Ijabah, Asahiha, for example is Amma Luna and then proceed. Okay, so this is Adopt Acrobat Reader. So what do you think? Which one you prefer? Muni sebelum 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 pen yang kita write uh, apa yang kita tanda uh, write dengan salah tu bukan gambar pen ke yang kita boleh tulis sebelah dia mana? Dia ni sebelah dia ni. Ah, dia ni highlighter. Oh highlight, okay. Ya, kalau adopt ni memang dia tak ada function untuk tulis. Okay, syukran. So we can just just do the comment or like this then. Okay. Or wrong. Okay. But using this comment box, we can do the Arabic typing. Alhamdulillah. So this is the, the second way. I'm not sure which one you prefer. It's up to you. Other people, they have others, their own preference. But for me, I like to conteng-conteng. So I, that's why I prefer to use Microsoft Edge. But if you want to use then it's then it's also can it's also acceptable by using this adopt you can also save like what i do in the microsoft edge so you can save in your computer and then submit back to your student and you can also print okay so this is the second way alhuna kasua do you have any question la la uje Okay, no question. Alhamdulillah. Sorry, I just uh, put the example using my exercise. So it is in Arabic. Okay, uh, let's open the third one. This one I, I did not see. Lah. The third way of marking, uh, I will use the... Shopee, apa ni? Oh, drawing pad. Yes, drawing pad saya pun beli online. Murah je, cari yang murah. Don't buy the, 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 the expensive one. Okay. Uh, Alright. For the third one. The Google, uh, the Kami extension. 
the Kami Chrome extension, sorry. I already installed the Kami Chrome extension, so I will just open, I will show you uh, what it looks like first, and then I will show you how to install if you want. Okay, let me open the file again, but this time I will use, I will open with Google Chrome. Okay, you can see here. So this is the basic application when you open a PDF file using Google Chrome. We cannot do anything here. We can just uh, look it, look at it, and you can just zoom in and zoom out only. There's no button to annotate whatsoever. Okay, but since I already installed the Chrome, the Kami Chrome extension, so I have another choice. I can click Kami extension here. Okay. Application tu kena Application tu kena install Ustaz Daripada mana? Nanti after this I will show you how But now I will just show you what is Kami Chrome extension first Is it okay Ustaz? Okay So I will open the file, sorry, it's not how to open. So what you need to do is you open Google Chrome first and then you open the Kami extension and then you find the file. Lah. I thought it is how to open, sorry. So this is my file. Okay. You can see here. Kami extension is more advanced lah. There are many features here you can use. You can, there is a select. Meaning that, meaning that lah. Uh, yeah. You can use this uh, application during the uh, teaching. Also can you set. Mm, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Ustaz open, open the file and then Ustaz boleh annotate lah while teaching to your student. Okay. Alright, you can see here there is a uh, a function with the apa orang panggil ni eh? Mangga. With the lock. So that means this one you cannot use except if you upgrade. Okay. So far I'm using the free version. So free version as usual lah it is limited. But still, it is enough. We can do the markup, comment, text box. Okay, here you can do the typing. And at the same time, you can also do annotation. We can use the pen. Okay, so it's actually combining both the Microsoft Edge and also the Adobe Acrobat Reader. Okay. Uh, this is the eraser, shaping, drawing, and so on. But this one, it is locked for the upgrade version. If you want to buy, if you uh, you love to use the Kami enough, then you can buy. It is, if I'm not mistaken, $99 per year. Okay, so let's just use the basic function first. Uh, this is my short essay. <laughs> I took it from the internet. Okay, my talent. And I have made it, uh, some of the sentence is wrong. So you want to correct it. So I will use the, the drawing, for example. We have many colors here. You can choose. I will use the, the red color. Okay. But the writing uh, appear not very clear in the screen. In the screen. Maybe because the, the phone that I use, I change. The phone, let me make it bigger lah, so. Nampak tak, Ustaz? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. it is clear. Sorry, okay. my mistake. I choose a wrong phone to show you. Okay, so my talent. Kalau ada salah, sorry ya. Eh. Teacher-teacher ELD, <laughs> please correct me. My talent is that I'm good. I love to draw and paint. My mom taught me how to draw when she was little. She was, so this is a wrong answer, isn't it? Okay, so we can. 
uh, annotate and put the right one lah. And artist, I have a practice a lot but I'm still not as good as my mom. I feel very happy when I am drawing. Uh, sorry, this one also wrong, isn't it? You need to put the D. What makes me happy is when I am finished my deck like what I drew. So finish and then give the, the mark. Berapa markah ni eh? Is it okay? 3 out of 5? Am I generous? Am I too generous? Okay. 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 In Arabic, can we type in Arabic? Kan tadi Maksudnya. kalau yang, yang previous tadi kan, kalau typing yang lebih huruf pecah-pecah uh, kan? Yang ni boleh? Yang ni, sekejap eh. Saya rasa saya dah try. Boleh tak try? Boleh tak try? Let me try the text box. So this is the font size. You can choose. Also can choose the the color. Okay. Okay for Arabic eh. Uh, Let's say you want to congratulate them. So we say Mubarak. Okay, okay. Malian, Ahsan Ti. Okay. So Alhamdulillah, I read writing is as a lot here. And we can make it bigger. Make the font size as big as 1796. Okay, so since Arabic is, we can do the typing using Arabic, so of course the English and the Malay also can lah. Right? So we can also do, we can also use the, the eraser to, to erase. Either erase one by one or we can erase all annotation if you want. Okay. Uh, this is this is the third way of marking, but uh, this is coming Chrome extension. Before I proceed, do you have any question? Here also you can save lah, save button, and also we have the the print button. Do you have any question? Munira. Yeah. Boleh conteng conteng, boleh type, tapi. Prefer yang tersedia kenapa tak prefer ini? Kenapa saya prefer yang Microsoft Edge? Sedangkan ni boleh annotate, boleh contoh-contoh ke kan? Boleh typing, tak pilih ni? Uh, sebabnya saya baru install lagi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, 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 the real reason is because I just install this one. I just found out, found, found out about this kami. And then there is one more reason uh, why I prefer the Microsoft Edge because this this one. Let me show you. I'm not really understand. Allah, saya tak tepek ke? Allah, tak ada lah. Uh, I'm not sure whether the free version is, we can use it forever or not. That's why. Oh, you mean, you mean they ada macam contract lah, maybe about. Uh, uh, that's why. I'm, I'm not really sure about the free version. Tak pula ni. Buat um, Setakat ni saya boleh guna lagi lah. I can still use it. Ah, ah this one. Maybe uh, ELD teachers can help me to understand this statement. Because... Alright. Uh, uh, the basic plan. It is free, no credit card, access to basic tool, at free experience of this one. Trials and paid account will be placed on the basic plan when expired. Uh, this, this word, this word. Any ELD can, can, 
Boleh tak? Uh, uh, betul tak faham saya benda ni macam ada expired dia, betul tak? Jadi macam nak cakap je tu bukan ID? Eh dia nak cakap? Tak faham tak? Jadi macam lambat kena cakap. <coughs> dia rasa kalau teacher plan ni kalau once expired dia consider as passive plan. Macam mana macam dah? Kalau kita kita ambil, kita, kita kita sign for trial. Okay. And then forever tu kita akan stay kat sini lah, passive plan lah. Maksudnya boleh guna so, lagi lah. Uh, boleh guna, let's say uh, one, uh, kita saya nak for teacher plan ni. After one year, kita, kita tak, tak, tak sama wayar. Dia akan jatuh, dia akan jatuh jadi basic plan. Hmm, macam tu, Alhamdulillah lah. Kalau basic plan ni we can use forever, then I will recommend this, the third one for you. <laughs> Because it is combining the Microsoft Edge and also the Adobe. Okay. Maybe you can see after one year lah. Uh, kalau tak silap, cuba cuba try tengok lepas 30 hari sebab macam ada terbaca tertidis kan benda kat mana tak saya baca. Haa tu bawah tu. Mana? Kat mana? Tak ada. Ni dia just bagi tahu basic plan apa dia punya features yang dia allow. Dia tak ada. Dia tak ada. Dia tak ada. Hmm. Ada phone support. Mana phone support tak ada meaning that can only be used on PC. Macam mana? Dia tak ada phone support. Kalau yang teacher plan ni dia ada phone support maknanya boleh guna Chrome dan Chrome Chrome Mobile. Chrome Mobile. Ah. Ada, okay. ada, 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 ada phone support kan. Kan ada version Chrome, ada Chrome Mobile, ada Chrome, Chrome PC. Hmm. So Chrome, ha, jadi kalau yang teacher ni dia ada Chrome Mobile punya boleh pakai. Ini nampak ada Google Classroom, kita tak boleh guna kalau basic plan. Kita ni bikin Google Classroom, Psikologi, Canva. So speed lah, speed knowledge. Assalamualaikum Kak Raja. Saya rasa kan Kak Raja, maaf ya Ustaz. Saya rasa lepas dah guna dia ada hat dia. Lepas dah guna nanti dia akan suruh bayar. Betul. Dia memang ada movie dia bagi dia allow for period of time ataupun berapa kali guna. Itulah yang saya ada terbaca tu macam dia sebut 30 days, 30 hari. Sebab saya baru install rasa dalam 2 minggu so dia tak reach 30 days lagi lah. That's why saya tak tak dapat nak bagi tahu whether the, best, the basic plan will be forever or not. So but if you when after you use the the Kami and then you really like it maybe you can upgrade into teacher plan lah. It's only 99 dollar per year. And since the age, age, this per word. Hmm, apa dia? Age tu dah, 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 dah banyak function lah. Age. Mm -hmm. Okay, I so. I think our IUM account pun boleh sign dengan Microsoft Edge punya account. account. Betul. Kita punya email tu. Email tambah add tu tambah live .iu.edu dan mana kita sign lah untuk Microsoft punya or Microsoft punya apa application hmm. Yang Microsoft Edge tu yang kat tunjuk tadi tu ke? Haa ah, yang first lah. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright. So this is Kami Chrome extension and I want to show you how to use Kami if you want to use it using your Google Classroom. Uh, let me open my Google Classroom. This is the last one that I want to share with you. Okay, uh, as a, uh, this is my student submission. This is actually my son, the attachment. So I will click the attachment. Right. So when you click, when you open the attachment, attachment, <laughs> attachment, uh, this is what you will see, isn't it, in your Google Classroom? Yes. Uh, so since I already installed the Kami Chrome extension, I actually can do great with Kami. Because if without this Kami, uh, in Google Classroom, you cannot do, you cannot use the drawing. We can only use, we can only add the comment. But if you have the Kami Chrome extension, you just tick on it. 
Yeah. You can see here, the function will be here. So we can do the same one that I show to you. We can do the, uh, we can use the pen. And then we can return back to our student. We can put the grade. And then return back to our student. Ini yang Kak Mar tanya tadilah. Okay, kalau using Google Classroom. Boleh, boleh, boleh tulis Kak, tempat kosong tu? Hmm, tak kosong mana Ustaz eh? Azza Akhi Ismuhu Hamzah. Ah, uh, boleh juga. Sah eh? Can, can write itu. Can write Ustaz sebab uh, this is a drawing pen so we can do whatever we want to do. Azza Akhi is... Ismuhu. Ismuhu. Ganggu lah, ganggu lah Ustaz. We can also do the typing instead of using the pen. Aina. By to clean. Okay. But uh, with a condition that we have the Kami Chrome extension. Saza. Yeah. Boleh tak undo sikit? Undo. Uh, Pelajar lemah macam saya ni. Saya Andu. kena pelajar lemah sikit. Uh, macam uh, ni. Uh, uh. Contohnya, sudah nak pelajar lemah anak punya WhatsApp. Bentuk oh, WhatsApp. Okay. 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 Uh -huh. Anak nak marking lah. So, uh -huh. anak kena buka apa dulu? Maksud okay. anak tadi, mula-mula ditunjuk tadi ada yang file nanti yang tepi tu desktop, download, document, apa yang pening. Macam mana nak pergi situ tadi? Sorry okay. ya, yang lain. Tak apa tu lah. Sebab saya memang skip pun bab tu. Saya tak tunjuklah sudah hantar Joanna. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Hanya pelajar ni saja yang sneko. Sorry. <laughs> Afwan. Okay. okay. Ustazah akan marking guna laptop. Betul? Ah, sorry, sorry. Ah, tadi saya so. tak boleh mata rabun. Okay. <laughs> so kita contohnya lah kita buka lah whatsapp web kita. We open our whatsapp first. Alah, ini saya tak, saya biasa guna WhatsApp dekat sini, sorry. Okay. For example, this is what our student give to us, submit to us. Okay. Maybe they submit to us using the PDF file. So what we need to do, we, we need to download first. Download into our computer. Yeah, okay. after you download and then you can open. Download, save dulu lah, save as. Download and my suggestion is you save in one folder like this. I download my student submission and then I put in a folder. And then when we want to mark, we just uh, double click on it or we right click and then open with whatever application that we want to use. Either Adobe, Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. Like that. Okay. Azza? Azza. Apa Cuma nanti nak apa install Install apa tu yang kami tu je lah nah, Takut mm -hmm. tak terlupa mm. Okay Boleh So finish with the Google Classroom Okay Do you have any question? No No okay as usual after you do the marking and then return back to your student and your student will see the the their file with the annotation and also the mark all right so i have finished showing you all the three application that i want you to show in microsoft edge adopt and kami chrome extension other than that, as I said, you can also use your smartphone or tablet. 
Because when when you use smartphone and tablet and you open your student submission Google Classroom, you can also do the the annotation and then return back to your student without installing the Kami Chrome extension if I'm not mistaken. You can just uh, tick, tick, tick and then uh, write down anything and then return back to them. Also can. Okay. How to install the Kami Chrome extension? This is how to do it. Just uh, search Kami extension. Okay. You open the Google Chrome and then search Kami extension. Or you can use this link. Also can. After this, I will give to you this link. I will put in the chat room. Okay. After you uh, open the Kami Chrome extension, this is the link lah. Kami extension. Write down the Kami extension search and then you will see this link. Just click on it. It will take you here. Kami extension with this icon, the key icon. Click add to Chrome. Sorry, yeah, I cannot show you uh, practically because I already installed the Kami extension. So I just screenshot and show you like this. Click add to Chrome. And then Chrome will ask you, do you want to add Kami extension? And just click add extension. And Alhamdulillah, it will be installed. Okay. During the first time I install, this icon appear. But right now when I open my Chrome, this icon is gone. But it's, it's actually still inside our Google Chrome. Google Chrome, we just need to tick. Uh, you just need to open this small icon and then you will see the extension for Kami Chrome. So even though it is already installed, you still need to do a few more steps. You need to sign up. You, I am using Kami. Uh, this one, I'm not sure why I choose K12 school. But after you, when you do the install, maybe you can know why. I already forgot why I choose this one. And then you need to pick your role, whether you are a student, teacher or other. I choose teacher. Okay, you can see here, I am a teacher because I choose teacher. And then uh, Kami will ask you, are you using any learning management system? Since I'm using GC, so I will click yes. Okay, there will be a choices. GC, so Schoology, Canvas or others. I click Google Classroom. What is the name of your school? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I write down IIUM lah and then I click finish. Okay, so that's all on how to use Kami Chrome uh, uh, and how to install Kami Chrome. Okay, so if you want to mark the your student submission in GC like I showed to you just now, when you open your student submission, it will be open like this and you just click, you just tick great with Kami, like what I showed you just now. And I forgot to show you another way, other than tick here, you can also click here. Okay. Uh, tick this small triangle and then annotate with Kami. Either way, it will open the Kami Chrome extension inside the Google Classroom. So you can choose like this or like this. But this one is easier. Great with Kami is easier. Okay. If you are the first time user of Kami extension uh, in the Google Classroom, in the GC, uh, you will be asked this question. Do you want to authorize Kami with Google? Uh, what I mean is, uh, Google Drive will ask you whether you want to authorize Kami to do the change uh, for the Google Classroom assignment. 
you need to give the authorization. If not, uh, then it will not save in your GC lah, whatever you annotate. So just authorize. It is just to allow Kami to save whatever you annotate, actually. Yeah, and then it will ask you, this is only for the first time user. After when, after the first time, they will not ask you again. Okay. So, jawab, apa tadi Ustazah? Jawab okay lah. Yang ni kena auto. Tekan, tekan auto lah. Oh, okay. Kalau tak nanti, dia tak sebab tak apa. Tak lah. Uh, buat dekat GC tu, dia nanti dia akan save dekat Google Drive kan. So, bila kita tak oh. ice, nanti dia tak boleh save. Okay. okay. So, to authorize. Kena allow. Kalau tak buat ni nak allow, tak boleh gunalah kami. Okay. After that, ask you which account. And then, just click lah account yang kita guna for that GC. And then, click allow again. That's all. The step is, uh, maybe you feel that why there are so many steps. Uh, step ni untuk first time je. Lepas tu, okay lah. Okay. Ada guna kat soal? Ada, Ustazah. Kalau lupa. Okay, uh, so dah terlupa. Hmm. Ana buka, Ana ada yang Microsoft Edge tu. Okay. Tapi, bila, bila dah download yang kerja student tu, maksudnya Ana okay. buka. And I, I open that file dulu, baru buka Microsoft Edge tu ke? Sebab bila uh, anak kata tu, alam ajak syarikat. Tak faham. Uh, Ustazah buka macam mana? Okay, bila nak buka, uh, dekat mazhar tu dia nampak new tab, lepas tu kosong. Apa yang nak buka, anak tak faham. Ustazah dah double click dah dekat file PDF tu. Oh, kena buka double, uh, kena double klik dulu lah kat situ. Eh, uh, itulah saya tak, saya tak sure saya dah buka macam mana. Okay, contoh. Kena, kena buka Google Drive dulu lah kiranya. Um, file usaha tu berada kat mana? Uh, Google Drive. Google Drive tu dekat komputer ke yang Google Drive dekat internet tu? Ah, uh, fi laptop lah. Dalam laptop lah. Hmm. Saya uh, dekat. Bukan, uh, biasa yang ada kita punya meter semua tu lah. Dekat sini ya, hmm. Dekat sini. Hmm. Dekat yang sini. Ada, yang ada selalu midterm punya Ustazah. Midterm pun semua. Kat situ. Bukan terang situ. Uh, apa maksud Ustazah midterm tu eh? Dekat web kot ni dah. Kat sini. Ha ni ni. Kat sini kot eh. Sekejap eh. Saya sign up. Yang dekat uh, inbox tu ada. Ha ah, ya kat ha, sini. Kan. Yang ni ke Ustazah? Ah, ah, ni. Yang gitu lah situ. Ah, kat sini. Jadi ambil dia pasti lah start dia. Ini dah ayah. Yang ni tak boleh. Kalau Ustazah buka tu sini, dia tak keluar yang function tu. Ustazah kena download dulu. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Nanti Wahawi. Sebab saya rasa sebab PDF ni dia bukan produk Google kan. So, dia tak, tak adalah keluar apa-apa tu. So, Ustazah kena download dulu. Ah, okay. Nak open daripada sini. Ah, okay, okay. So, Wahawi. Ya, Zakila. Apa? Do I have any more question? No. Acu ulang no. step dia. Gak apa sah? Acu ulang ulang step dia. Step apa sah? Nak install dia awal. Nak install dia pada awal. Ni open Google, Google Chrome. Type uh, kami extension. Okay. Nanti dia keluar banyak kan. So, saya so ambil ni lah kami extension. Ni sebab saya dah install. So, dia suruh remove. 
Tapi kalau step baru nak install Nanti dia akan keluar Akan keluar macam ni Add to Chrome Saya so, klik je add to Chrome And then add extension Nanti dia akan terus install so, Dia akan keluar The small icon on the top Ke atas sekali sebelah muka kita tu lah eh, Ada muka kita ke Atas sekali tu lah Ke atas sekali nanti akan ada Icon kecil ni Kalau tak keluar icon dekat K ni Dia akan berada kat dalam ni okay, Lepas dah keluar tu Maksudnya dia dah install Tapi Ustaz still Kena sign up dulu Okay uh, Sign up ni Nanti dia tanya Nak guna kami forward Okay, nanti dia ada choice. Cuma saya tak ingat apa choices dia. Ya. Saya so, klik lah apa-apa. And then pick your role, a teacher. Are you using any LMS? Yes. LMS ni maksudnya GC ke ataupun uh, air taklim kita tu ke. Tapi air taklim tak ada kat sini lah. So we just click the, the Google Classroom. And then school name, put IIUM and then click finish. Tujuh. Thank you. Do I have any more question? No. No. Asyik masih dah je jawab. Pelajar yang bagus. Okay. Uh, kalau tak ada soalan, as I said, I, I, uh, the choices are yours. Each person have their own preference. Okay, for me, uh, if the current extension, I can use it forever with the basic function, then I, 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 of course, I will use it. Okay, because it is combining both the, the function in Microsoft Edge and also the ad hoc. But in case the Kami extension is can is uh, not forever, we need to upgrade. Then maybe I will go back to the Microsoft Edge because for me Microsoft Edge is enough lah to do the annotation. Okay. Tazah. Yeah. Aku cuba nak down apa down apa download install. <laughs> install. Ini <laughs> pernah. Okay. Ha. Sampai step ni je saja. Anak uh, dia sampai. Kenapa tak dia kata sign up tu saja? Ana, hmm. Ana tak tahu. Dia sekali dia depan Ana dia di Scrum Web Store. Lepas tu belakangan sekali Ana punya email. Hmm. Tapi ada tak ikon kecil tu saja? Ikon kecil. Ha, ikon yeah. dia letak. Kat mana dia letak itu? Kat tepi ni lah yang atas sekali. Oh. Sekejap. Atas sebelah? Uh, sebelah ni sebab keluar muka saya. Yang saya punya tak tahu lah ada keluar muka ke tak. Sebelah muka kita tu lah kalau ada muka kita yang atas sekali tu. Sudah so, nampak tak screen saya? Oh nampak nampak. Okey hmm. lepas tu ada tu perkataan extension betul? Ha uh, sebelah ada extension tu lah. Ada tak kami? Uh, perkataan kami ke ataupun yang tanda macam bintang tu? Uh, kami extension ada? Dia kalau letakkan situ dia keluar perkataan extensions. Kami tak ada? Tak ada. Aduh, saya kena tengok Zazah kot. Ha, tak apa lah nanti lepas ni tak apa uh, lah. Kejap Zazah. Yang lain, if okay. you have any more question, uh, that's all what I have to share with you. So you can choose whatever application that's suitable for you. Thank you for joining us today. And don't forget to record your attendance. If you do not, did not record it yet. Let me put the link again. Uh, Somebody, uh, syukuran so sabar ya. For sharing dah. Okay, so see you everyone. Jumpa lagi insyaAllah. See you. Thank you for coming. Okay. 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 Okay.